Hey guys, how are you today? Happy Sunday. Yes, we need to do our Monday meal prep and yes, I'm gonna get to that, but right now, I'm gonna do something a little different. So, not all of you know, and I know I've mentioned in other videos that I like to, I have done some smaller grocery hauls and that lately and I don't like to do that because it seems like I'm in the store like every day and your grocery bill gets out of hand. I really like to plan and shop monthly for my meal plan. We did have graduation and a vacation and we've had so much going on that that did not happen for me. But for June, we're getting back on track. Today is June 2nd. I'm gonna start my monthly meal plan today for the month of June. So we have to get our food inventory caught back up. I always keep a food inventory on hand and what my food inventory mostly is, is my proteins. So I'll make a list of all my proteins you can type them up you can be fancy if you want to some people use the same one every month so all their proteins are the same they know exactly what to shop for and how much they need to make it for the month we have two different eating styles in this household i am on keto my husband is on omad one meal a day he eats that meal at lunch at work so i have to plan he is not keto but he is diabetic so one thing i haven't mentioned a lot that even though he's not keto he is sugar free and low gluten not gluten free don't get crazy because he does eat tortillas once in a while but he doesn't get any out of hand so diabetic friendly on my husband's side um and keto on my side so i'm gonna do my monthly meal plan and i'm going to which means i have to catch up my food inventory which means i'm gonna bring you along on a quick pantry challenge i did clean my pantry out yesterday got rid of some you know been there too long but i have to go through all my freezers and we have three we have a deep freezer in the garage we have a, a side by side similar to this a stainless out in the garage as well and then we have our what i call it european style you know two on the top and the drawer so i need to go through all my freezers and my pantry and get an inventory of what we have on hand now so i can plan my meals and then i can decide what i need to get through the rest of the month of june I do know I need coffee. We buy the bag of Dunkin' Donuts coffee at Costco's and it lasts us for three months and we make coffee every morning. So we're good to go. We are a small family. I love watching the large families. I always want to get all the stuff they get and have my whole big ugly giant haul, but there's just two of us in the room where you really don't need that much food. I do when I do have to go to the store for like Kroger's or somewhere I always look for the manager specials on the meat so I'm always looking for something on woohoo or something I'll pick up a little four pack of pork chops or I pick up just this and that throughout the week but let's go and check out my pantry okay technical difficulties handled let's turn the light on yay okay so this is of course not the keto shelf um, I mean these drinks are considered keto um, this cocoa can be used for keto stuff, but this is my little baking corner, just like sweet and condensed milk and stuff like that, because not everyone that comes to visit us is keto. Down on this shelf is our sauces and what have you. This is some 100% maple syrup. I will use that in a bread recipe that I have. It is keto friendly bread, but you just use the tiniest, like a half a teaspoon of this to feed the yeast. It is really good. So we have back there some peanut butter and some bacon bits, mustard, ketchup, the traditional, I have some grainy mustards back there, different kind of mustards that I'll use in recipes. I have my better than bouillon, I have the garlic, I have the beef, and I have the chicken. I do use these. Um, I do have some of these, like the ranch dressing, au jus, I'll use that in roast. I have some yeast here, like I said, for that bread. I, use, I have some soy sauce. And Worcestershire, if you've watched my channel much, you know I make a protein marinade with that. Some hot sauces and some Tabasco and some Sriracha back there. I have some squid sauce, fish sauce. I have some sesame oil, um, some balsamic vinegar. And then these are some different sauces that we use for wings. Some of these are okay on keto and some of them are not. It's a little darker down here, but I have some arrowroot flour. Some... Um, it's unflavored whey protein. Um, I need to make a recipe with that soon. I'm almost out of coconut flour. So we add coconut flour to our grocery list. Always have Swerve. This is the confectioner sugar. Um, back here I have some stevia. This is some almond flour. Of course, we've got to have that. We have some brown flaxseed. We have some cacao powder. Some, some cacao powder. And we have our chia seeds. Um, we have 
some granular swerve and that's an extra bag and then this one is the brown sugar swerve which is great if you're gonna make keto cookies we have our lilies here's our lilies chocolate chips this is a part of the bag and a full one right next to it i'm making this oh i didn't get this this is some monk fruit flavored bunny mix which isn't a bad idea to start here's the lilies chocolate bars if you don't know these are these are sweetened with stevia and are keto friendly of course you can't have the whole bar but if you look at the nutrition facts this whole bar is to 10 servings and it has 22 carbs but 12 grams of fiber which would make this 10 grams of carbs for the whole bar but obviously I just break off a little strip it is in little squares inside I have some Baker's chocolate I have some Ghirardelli I have these ones I will use in co for cooking okay here's some unsweetened coconut flakes this is xanthan gum I keep it in here I have this is beef gelatin it helps with like some cookies to make them like the chewy kind and here is our psyllium husks I use that in some recipes I have some ghee here clarified butter I have some coconut oil I hauled this in my last grocery trip and I told you about that I had got this off of Danielle Daniela's diaries um, I have some peanut butter and the ingredients should say peanuts and salt see that's it okay so I have some other organic unsweetened no salt no salt peanut butter and then I have our coconut amitos which is my keto for version of soy sauce and then I have some of just the regular coconut or just regular liquid aminos and then I have some rice wine we also I don't want to make a mess but here is some primal kitchen avocado Caesar made with avocado oil this is a keto friendly dressing I have some sugar-free balsamic and this is just some cans of vinaigrette so I do use a lot of these we have our sugar-free ketchup always need that let's put these back where they go try oh liquid smoke use that it's great flavor um, this is tamari this is a kind of an Asian sauce as well and it is one gram of carbs and the serving size is one tablespoon so if you like those Asian flavors let's just put this back here's our ketchup there's some sugar-free barbecue sauce and some pink and sea salt we have our sugar-free syrup we have our nutritional yeast back here hiding in the corner um, this is some apple cider vinegars. I got the different flavors and then I have some tuna packs. These are in olive oil. These are the best ones, but I got some family ones back there. I found this on clearance at Walmart and it is an aguave lemon flavored cayenne vinaigrette and marinade. It has two grams of carbs for two tablespoons. But I thought this would be great flavoring for some of those meats I pick up on special. So let's go ahead and get our little aminos back up here making a mess I had it all strained out we've got some pickles some white vinegar there's some chicken broth I got two big cans of chicken and two cans of salmon these are some soups that I use for some of the recipes for Sid I don't use those for my keto journey nor the fruit you see we have some pears there the pumpkin I do use it's a hundred percent pumpkin I use that for a pumpkin cheesecake that is keto friendly I make baked beans and um, that uh macaroni and cheese that is zane's so that is not for keto hold on i'm trying to put oh i didn't show you this crap almost forgot my palmini this is like um pasta made out of hearts of palm and i always keep a can of coconut cream on hand all right back to our schedule programming we have some corn which is not keto green beans you can make keto these are good with butter and garlic powder these are sids he does these ranch style beans keeps some jalapenos around I thought these were sliced olives that are chopped these tomatoes I use frequently I get at Aldi's there's just some different tomato sauces this is kind of like the Aldi version of Hortel I always keep a couple cans of that and those are some Italian style crushed tomatoes so then down here we would have our stuff that is like definitely not keto um, these teas are okay but just some extra groceries I keep on hand you know when we do have company over um, that is a big gallon thing from pickles that's full of rice I bought that 
this bag of rice here at Aldi's. It was like five pounds for like two forty-eight. It was ridiculous. I have some brown rice here. This is some gluten-free spaghetti, um, and this is some egg noodles. Of course, you can't eat those on keto. Just some flour, some bread flour. This is um, some batter that I make for. I use beer instead of water, and I make a beer batter. I just have some the sugars, white sugar, brown sugar, lard. Those are some different cooking stuff in there, and then we have our grocery bags that when we go grocery shopping we don't have to kill the earth but we usually forget them and we end up killing the earth anyway so here's a quick tour of my pantry you'll see I have some taco seasons up there those breadcrumbs I used to make cheese sticks for Sid so I have some a couple of teas up there that's stomach ease and I have another one that's kind of a night night time type of thing but this is our pantry tour so uh, I'm gonna go get my inventory from the freezers let's see how that goes Here's a quick look in the fridge. I have, that is some diet ginger beer that I used to make those cocktails at Moscow Mule. We have heavy whipping cream. We have silk and we have some open chicken stock back there. That's some cheese, these oh snap pickles. Mm, these are so good and you can have these on keto. There is no brine. That's the trick with pickles. Of course, some sour cream. This sour cream here has um, ranch mix in it. So we have the Parmesan cheese, which is going to be for the chicken, which I need to make. It's right there. And this is some bacon. These are my keto bagels. Mm -hmm. I had one this morning. This is uh, Zane's French toast. So he can just, when he comes, I make him, a, I make about eight pieces and I put them in Ziplocs. And he can just get them when he wants, when he wakes up. And he can throw them in the toaster. So we have our Carrie's cold butter, our cream cheese. These are just some eggs. Um, we have some lemons and some limes and an onion and then we have some broccoli which I'm going to make today and these are radishes that's just a little shallot back there we have Sid's blueberry bread this is keto blueberry bread um, some mozzarella cheese here are some ground turkey and chicken I got on special I don't know if I say special I'll throw this in the freezer if I don't eat some of it today um, we are grating our cheese, so here's a block of cheese, which we need more, so note to Tony. We keep these string cheeses in here. I have some uncured beef franks. These are a little bit higher in carb than I'd like, because it's 6 grams, but basically I bought these for the boys anyway. My grandson's insane. Um, here's some cheddar cheese. And we have some of these little smokies back here. I thought I might, might make a little kids in a snuggie and do some fat head dough. We just have some more pepperonis back there. So it looks like we're doing pretty good um, considering how late in the month it is. Um, we have our sugar-free, keto-friendly, strawberry. There we go. Strawberry preserves. Um, I have some avocado oil mayo. It does have some soybean oil in there, but we're making the best some lemon juice we have sugar-free creamer which note to self we need that this is the regular whipping cream but we have the sugar-free version of that right here here's a powerade zero here's the pizza sauce that i use to make my little pizzas on my lavish roll-ups or with fathead dough whichever i'm feeling that day so this is some low carb pizza sauce this is the lowest carb i found it is two net carbs okay so yeah it's gonna be but us we'll do this real quick while it's beeping uh, we just have some ranch dressing some taco bell taco seasoning some sugar-free i get it out some sugar-free hershey syrup i make some almond milk make your chocolate milk we have some wheat baby rays that is not keto um let's see what we got over here uh, this is the spaghetti sauce I like to use. It is also Rouse. You'll find that Rouse is the lowest. Um, just some Parmesan, some more ranch dressing. I don't care for this one too much. Um, we keep our spark uh, sparkling ice in here, nice and cold. No on sweet relish. This is some lemon. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Sugar-free barbecue sauce. And I like to keep egg whites on hand as well for recipes that require you to divide the egg. And I don't like to squeeze the yolks. And it looks like I have a little piece of some cream cheese here too. So that is what we keep in our fridge along with the big giant pickles. So that's my fridge tour. So I can't really vlog and make my list at the same time, but I'll come back and make my list. So 
I keep just some stuff here in the house. Um, this is some shrimp, a real good pizza. These are some green beans. I like to keep these bird's eye vegetables on hand so when the fresh ones run out. This is some riced cauliflower. And this is that pizza crust I got from the farmer's market. Um, I've got some of those different marsala and the butter chicken. There's four bacons. They sh these will go outside, but right now I had gotten these on that special at Kroger's. If you didn't make it for that, it ended Saturday. Just some of that. This is some um, squash and zucchini. This is just a couple of patties that I had decided to take for work and then didn't end up using. And then ice and these sausages. Um, I accidentally got the maple flavor. Don't make that mistake. But these come from Aldi's. They're fully cooked. A couple seconds in the microwave and they're eating breakfast. So watch for the maple. I was like, why does this taste sweet? Um, this is another big, big yes for keto. These Angus Choice Beef Patties from Costco. These are amazing. I was skeptical. It tastes, it's like a flame broiled burger. It is so good. It's really like five guys quality. I have some meatballs in here. Here's the last of our coffee. As I said, I buy that. I got a roast down there. We always keep strawberries. Sid makes smoothies. Um, there's some shrimp. We've got a roast and some other random fruit. So I'm gonna get that all logged on my list. Hey guys, we're out in the garage. Yay, and look what I found. I forgot all about these. Good camera skills, Tony, great. Okay, sorry about that. So I found my Rebel Creamery ice cream. Five net carbs per the entire container, and this one's eight because it is a something something fudge. Anyways, I'm gonna make the video, and then I'll go back inside, watch the video, and write down what I have in here since I can do both at the same time. So, let me show you what I have in my freezer. It was, um, I had the camera pointed into the freezer and it just kept fogging up the lens. So, plan B. Plan B. I have some split chicken breasts. Um, and I date them when I split them up most times. Been a couple times I did not do that. We also have some stew meat. So, put that on our list. I have two one pound split packages of ground meat and one that's one and a half pounds. Uh, these are very cold, so I'm not going to pick them up. Um, I have some pecans in here. I don't know why this bag is like that. I don't know. Anyways, I keep my nuts in the freezer. Um, so here are two burger patties. So there's a meal. And then I have this crab meat, which I bought. I'm going to be making some ceviche with some of the fish that Sid has in the other freezer. I have a big, gigantic, ginormous ham in here. Let's see, what is it? This is also some chopped up veggies. Um, I have uh, some catfish nuggets. That's a good lunch for Sid. Um, we've got some frozen Brussels sprouts. Oh, I don't keep that much veggies out here in, this, in the deep freezer. Um, but I do like to know what I have in here because of the, of the way it is, it's kind of sometimes you lose things down in the bottom. So, let's see. I have this humongous ham that I got at Aldi's when they were after Easter. I bought two, but I already um, cooked the other one. But ham is a great thing. Cook it up and you can make it for meals for days. It's all kinds of things. Um, we have some leg quarters that are seasoned. I just put some uh, fajita seasonings on these. Um, and then so we have two of those. So that's a couple of good meals there. I have some of these packets that have about four four to five um, legs. So these are chicken legs. Um, have a top sirloin roast a ri or steak. So not a roast, it's a steak. Um, we may not need too many groceries. More stew meat and more stew meat. So we have three packages of stew meat and I use those with to make my stir fry with some collie rice, some stir fry with some veggies. Um, yummy, sounds good. And I've got a little woohoo fajita. It's just a little, what is this? 0.95 of a pound of fajita meat. So it's good for just a single meal since sometimes we do couple things that works out, some more of those chicken legs. Um, this, I believe I got this at Costco. 
It is uh, pot roast, already cooked, and has four grams of carbs for every five ounces. So, and only one gram of sugar. So this is a good in a pinch, you know, just to throw if you want to cook. Um, oh, I forgot I still had one of these in here. This is a pork loin. Um, I got this at Costco in February when we did that Costco trip. I'll probably make this this week. Oh my gosh, it turns out so good in the, in the Ninja Foodie. Uh, let's see. These are some hot links that a friend of ours made for us. We had a couple packages. This is the last one. Mm -hmm. so some extra lunch meats. I always just throw them in the freezer if I don't use them quick because these um, I got on special. So I would like to throw them. So that's what we have in our deep freezer. And we'll take a peek in the other freezer behind me. That was our old fridge from the kitchen when we decided to get our new bougie refrigerator that talks to us and has stuff on it. I like the slideshow. It's my favorite. Anyways, we got to get this done. It is hot out here. We got to get back in our air conditioner. Whew. So here's our last freezer. Now look at my nose. is running. It's all red. It's the heat. Anyways, we have fish, 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 and oops, let's do this. Fish and more fish. Yeah, can you tell my husband's been fishing a lot? So all of this is freshly caught out of the ocean. He puts them, oh, sorry about that. He puts them in freezer bags and then he um, puts water so that they stay good. So we can say fish is on the menu this month for sure. And this is just where we keep all of our extra drinks and Sid saves his pickle juice because he works in the plants and you get dehydrated and these are for guests. Unless I want a McLove Ultra, but I use the McLove Ultra to make my beer batter for the fish. So, not that it counts for me because I'm keto. I don't eat the batter because it's got carbs in it, but just make it a little bit less fattening for hubby. Hey guys, okay, bad lighting. Look, the lake across the street. Yes, we got a great lot. Okay, so I am in the formal living room. I never come in here. The reason is you may hear it in the background. Sid is asleep on the couch in the family room. So that's where I'm usually at, the kitchen, the family room. But I am gonna sit down and watch the video I just filmed of the freezer. Look at my hair, what is that wonky thing it's doing? Anyways, um, I'm gonna go film that. I'm gonna watch the video and make my list. And I will be back for us to get our meal plan for next month together locked and loaded and so I can make my Costco grocery list and then my Aldi grocery list because those are the two places that I get the bulk of our groceries. I will I do watch the sales at HEB and Kroger's just like the bacon sale like for $2.99 for a pound of bacon that is an absolutely phenomenal deal. So I'm gonna get my grocery list together and my meal plan and then we are going to make the long overdue <laughs> um, Parmesan chicken in the air fryer. So I am excited to have that for lunch tomorrow. It was delicious the last time I made it, so I didn't film it, and I didn't realize it was going to be that delicious. It is absolutely keto, and it's great with the broccoli and cheese sauce. It's awesome. So we'll get back to those here in a minute. Oh, wow. I didn't even record that. Hi, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close this video. I will do my meal plan in a separate video, and then I'll do the garlic parmesan chicken and... A third one so three videos in one day watching naked and afraid marathon getting ready for a new episode tonight super excited so if you like this video and the things that I showed you I mean the, with the keto staples that I keep in my keto fridge and pantry also how I inventory my freezers I'll have my meal plan all put together and a shopping list for Costco and for all these and we'll get this month of June knocked out keto style because keto con is coming up and I am going I'm so excited I'm gonna meet all my fellow YouTubers. I know I don't have a big giant channel like they do, but you know what? Goals. Hashtag goals. So anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. Give it a big thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Do all the things YouTube and have the most wonderful Sunday. Thank you so much.